Hey guys, Jana here with Marine Connection. I'm down here in Pompano today aboard the beautiful Cobia 350. I'm here with Alex with Yamaha and Siren Marine. Yamaha and Siren Marine have come together to create an amazing product to keep you connected to monitor your boat, regardless of anywhere you, where you are in the world. So Marine Connection has been a Yamaha certified dealer for many years. We've created an amazing relationship with Yamaha. So Alex has agreed to come out here today to help inform you guys about the product. So Alex, tell me a little bit about the product and its capabilities. Sure, appreciate it. So uh, we're, what we did today is we installed on this beautiful uh, Cobia 350, the Siren 3 Pro device. Uh, Siren Marine Siren 3 Pro is our third generation boat monitoring product. And currently it's really our, our legacy product that we're offering through all Yamaha dealers, including Marine Connection here and all their locations. Uh, what we did today is we connected the Siren 3 Pro not only to the two starting banks that power these awesome uh, Yamaha 425s, but also we're monitoring both house banks and the air conditioning bank as well, uh, both DC banks located under the helm chairs. In addition to that, we have a few of our wireless sensors that we've installed around the boat to monitor items like security, high water, bilge activity, and uh, again, the additional battery monitoring uh, using our wireless battery sensors. Another item that we did today to kind of really give this customer perfect peace of mind was add our Siren Sat antenna. So again, the Siren 3 Pro is mainly 99% of the time a uh, cellular-based product. We have a global th uh, 4G, 5G LTE M SIM card in the device. And 99% of the time, the boat's here on the lift, it's out, he's at the sandbar, he's leaving his boat unattended, wherever it may be, it's going to be within range. Now, when that boat goes offshore, or let's say it is stolen and goes offshore and outside of cell range, that's when our siren sack kicks in. And we're dropping 30-second breadcrumbs every time that we're tracking that boat. So we're giving the customer real-time boat monitoring, real-time peace of mind. And in addition to all of that, uh, we did launch our brand new Siren Connected Boat app just last week at the Miami Boat Show. What that does is really combine best of both worlds with Yamaha's maintenance tracking uh, previous app they had, and then with the telematics boat monitoring aspects of Siren Marine. So what we've did with the customer is not only are we connected to his motors via NMEA 2000, but we've also entered his PIDs for maintenance and warranty tracking. Wow, that's, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> so one of the first questions that comes to mind for me is, is this a, there has to be a subscription involved in this. What does that look like? That's a great question, yes. And so the subscription really pays for the cellular SIM card in the box, uh, and that's $225 for the year. Now we do offer uh, seasonal subscriptions as well as also you can pay month to month. So we you know, encourage all customers to go to SiamMarine.com to check out our subscription plans. Uh, and we also have a satellite uh, option there as well that this customer took advantage of. So the next question that comes to mind, is this a DIY install or do you need to have a professional come out uh, and, and do this all? Uh, that's another great question. I mean, we, I would suggest that all customers have their local dealer or Marine Connection go ahead and install this product for them. Uh, our product is really marketed to be a DIY product. So not only the, the Siren 3 Pro, but also our wireless sensors, the packaging, the ease of use of installation and, and pairing in the app are all customer friendly. But again, whenever you're monitoring, you know, we're tapping into AC shore power here, we suggest that you go through an authorized dealer or installer, which all 2100 Yamaha dealers are certified Siren dealers as well in the United States. Perfect. And yeah, the Marine Connection is a certified Yamaha dealer. We have seven locations throughout South Florida. So um, definitely they can help you out and get this guy installed for you. All right, so my next question is about the draw on the battery. How much energy does this take? Do I need to get multiple batteries to get this to work, or how yeah, does this work? That's a great question. So the Siren 3 Pro, again, being the eyes and ears of the boat when it's unattended, we are hardwired to the boat's starting or house bank, whichever one is up to the customer. Now, because of that, we do draw voltage. We do draw power and amperage from that battery that we're connected to. We're drawing an average of 45 to 50 milliamps, again, when the boat is sitting unattended. Uh, however, something that's a brand new feature in our new Siren Connected Boat app is what we call low power mode. So similar to your mobile device, when the battery is drawing low, it kicks into low power mode, reduce functionality, all those kinds of things. We have low power mode built into the product and also it can be configured by the customer. So the customer, depending on his or her voltage needs, can set a voltage threshold, let's say 11.5 volts, that will trigger the Siren 3 Pro to go into low power mode, which would in turn reduce the power draw, reduce the functionality and check-in times, but along the, the battery life of, of the customer's boat until they can come down and, and address the issue on, that's taking place. All right, awesome. So my last question for the day, with all this technology involved, technology is always evolving, 
What are any, is there any future capabilities that you can let us know about? You know, we're actively working on a number of new sensors that we're coming out with later this year. You may hear some more about that. Um, new product in the works. Obviously that we're owned by Yamaha, we have direct integration and proprietary integration with Yamaha protocol being Command Link Plus. So we're looking at really driving that further, driving integration and in, uh, in notifications to Yamaha dealers across the country to better service their customers and really encompass the whole proactive maintenance uh, mindset. Uh, to keep customers on the water. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it over to Mike to talk a little bit more about the technical aspect and installation. I'm Mike Nass with Marine Connection and we're here today with Alex from Yamaha and Siren Marine. We are here today on this beautiful Cobia 350 to talk about the technical aspects of the new Siren Marine system and discuss the functions and capabilities of the system itself. So let's talk about the installation and what is required to actually install the different components in this vessel. Sure, of course. So we started with the Siren 3 Pro, obviously the main unit. And because this device is required to be hardwired to 12 or 24 volts, it's crucial that we determine a mounting location that we don't have some crazy wire run, right? To just get to, to satisfy the location of the, the Siren 3 Pro. So in this Cobia 350 under the, the helm chairs here, we do have a large house and starting bank. Um, for both motors, but we determined that under the console, based on the additional accessories that we wanted to install, was going to be the best location for the Siren 3 Pro to live. Um, obviously, it's, it's, it's hidden, it's concealed, but it has uh, a perfect ample access to a, a 24 hour hot circuit back there that we're monitoring for the starting banks. And then also, because we integrated with the and tapped into the N2K network, NMEA 2000 network, to monitor the engines uh, and you know, fuel tanks we were able to run a short can line to tee into that backbone in the, in the console of the boat. And the sensors themselves are primarily wireless, correct? Correct, so we do, we can support a number of wired sensors or of pre-existing systems on the boat, a bilge pump, high water alarm, et cetera, directly to a wired input on the Siren 3 Pro. But unlike other systems, we're not just cornering customers to say you can only monitor two batteries or one battery. Each uh, Siren Marine device can uh, hold up to or pair up to 15 wireless sensors. Those can be 15 battery sensors, 15 entry sensors. Obviously, in this case, the customer had an additional three house banks or three batteries that made up his house banks that we were able to monitor with our wireless sensors. So can you tell us what other sensors we have here today installed on this boat? Sure, so we have a wireless entry sensor. Our wireless entry sensor is a two-part magnetic contact uh, that's able to be mounted anywhere on a cabin, a, a locker, battery locker, storage compartment, whatever so may so be. Uh, and we're able to monitor the entry of the, the point of entry to this customer's console. So if this customer or this device is armed and someone comes and opens this console door, we will trigger our alarm, notify the customer in real time. Uh, and we're able to discreetly hide this sensor based on its small profile to discreetly mount the entry sensor in the cabin. And there is, uh we didn't install it on this boat, but you can actually add an audible alarm as well for intruders, correct? Correct. So the Siren 3 Pro device can actually connect up to four outputs. Those can be outputs to turn on your spreader lights, your underwater lights, your air conditioning, or an audible alarm or a horn. Okay. Um, those relays can be triggered by a customer just turning them on and off, or they can be triggered by what we call a rule setting, uh, an if this, then that scenario. So if my entry sensor is tripped, activate my output for X amount of seconds or minutes. It's completely defined by the customer. And um, I believe we also put a, a high water alarm sensor in this boat? Correct. So uh, we also placed a wireless high water sensor in a very crucial location of the boat, obviously the aft bilge pump location. Uh, and so what that's going to do, it's we're monitoring obviously pump activity, but when those pumps are strained or when they're overrunning and battery voltage is drawing, we're seeing that in real time, we have a wireless high water sensor just above that location. So that if the bilge pumps can't keep up with the uh, flow of water into the boat, for any means, I mean, if this customer's uh, lift fails and it drops into the water, these are crucial things that can really make or break a Saturday. So we're able to notify the customer in real time if those high water alarms go off and if that water reaches that threshold to uh, trigger the high water sensor. Great. Let's talk a little bit about the actual system and the way it functions. So a default setting is a cellular signal and then this boat, we actually added the offshore satellite option as well. That's correct. So uh, our bread and butter has always been when the boat is unattended. Usually that means that it's inshore, it's unattended at a dock, a lift, a mooring, a marina, you name it. 
Uh, and so based on South Florida insurance requirements and really uh, even moving farther up the, the East Coast, uh, some insurance requirements are, or insurance underwriters are requiring satellite based tracking systems. How we've met those requirements is we've added an additional optional uh, siren sat antenna. So what that's going to do is when this boat you know, travels into the Bahamas or, or and there's low signal strength or low cellular coverage, instead of just latching on to the, the closest 4G, 5G network operating on that network for no charge, no roaming fees, if that network doesn't exist, the siren sat will essentially back up and we will uh, be monitoring the boat's location via satellite in real time dropping a pin every 30 seconds, uh, letting that customer know where his or her boat is in real Once time. Once the boat is moving. Correct. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the new app? Yeah, sure. So uh, just last week, two weeks ago now, uh, we launched what was called the Siren Connected Boat App. We've combined two legacy customer experiences into one, which really take the, the maintenance tracking and warranty tracking system from what Yamaha had and combined it with the boat monitoring and telematics of Siren Marine. So we have one platform for, for Yamaha customers or agnostic customers, mm. depending on, because we have customers that are sailboaters, inboards, you know, right. you name it, uh, are all able to monitor their boat via the Siren Connected Boat app. And for Yamaha customers specifically, they can enter the PIDs of their outboards or certain warrantied um, uh, systems on the boat and monitor those, monitor those systems. And we'll actually send you hourly based service reminders when those outboards are approaching those thresholds, whether it's 300 hours, 100 hours, et cetera. Uh, and another addition to the Siren Connected Boat app are a few in, in enhancements around secondary users. Mm -hmm. um, this customer can now invite five other neighbors, friends, family members to have full access to the system, oh, wow. yeah. not just what we used to call alert recipients. Mm -hmm. So if they want to add their service manager or their, their, maybe they have a captain of some kind or a family friend, they can actually receive lo login access and those same real-time notifications that Siren Marine can provide. Uh, we do have an all new Apple Watch and Android Watch integration. So not just notifications on the watch, but mostly full boat control um, switching, arming, disarming, etc., all through the uh, the watch apps. Mm -hmm. And then the other big crucial item is what we call low power mode. And we kind of talked about that earlier, but I just want to really nail it down is that low power mode is important because it will prolong the life of the boat's battery. Um, the Siren 3 Pro, like I did mention, is required to be hardwired to the boat's battery. And because of that, we understand that battery voltage isn't free. We're drawing amperage from that, that battery. If there was a scenario where this customer is in rack storage or winterizing their boat, or if he's leaving it for an extended amount of time, that this customer can enable low power mode, which will then essentially reduce the check-in time, reduce the functionality, conserving the battery of the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, if this customer also chooses to have low power mode in auto mode, if, this, if he happens to be out of town and this, our device is drawing battery voltage or the battery of the boat goes down, we can then expand our monitoring capabilities or the life of our monitoring uh, based on automatically kicking our device into low power mode, similar to your mobile device on your phone. Okay. So this our marine system in this boat today was installed by one of our qualified technicians at Marine Connection. Feel free to contact us and have one of our qualified technicians come to your boat and install the system for you.